I don't love coding AI, but I do love video games. I mean, since I was a child, I would spend hours on Call of Duty and Sonic. And then in college, I still spent at least five to six hours a week playing FIFA and Rocket League with my friends. I have never been able to say the three magic words, I love you to building AI agents or AI apps or AI assets, you know, anything AI. And chances are you have not been able to either. Because let's be honest, coding AI just is not as fun as playing video games. Because let's be real, we build AI not because we love to, but because it is cool, kind of fun, but more so because it makes a lot of money. Now, what if we could somehow make coding AI as addicting as video gaming? Whoa, 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 whoa. I know it might sound impossible, but I will prove to you the next 10 minutes that it is very possible. I have done it. And because of it, I have made over $300,000. I'm basically max prestige in this, so I can help you guys get to the same level. So the first thing you gotta do is to turn your goal into a plan. When we turn on an adventure video game like Black Myth Wukong, we already know our goal. To beat the arena boss and make it to the next chapter. How do we do it? We simply beat up whoever is in our way, rank up, use new gear to boost our stats, and then absolutely mollywop the arena boss. There's nothing confusing about it, but things change once we put down the controller and open our laptop. We stare at the screen wondering what AI agent or app do we even build? Or better yet, if we know what we want to build, how are we going to build it? How are we going to market it? How long will it take? All these questions stop us from taking our first step. This is called an analysis paralysis. We overanalyze everything to the point where we take no action. Instead, we should be doing what Nike says and just do it. Forget planning. I know you don't plan when the evil enemies will appear in front of you. When they come on, you just beat them up in any video game. The same approach must be adopted for coding AI. Tackle problems as they come. Don't try to solve what's not even a problem yet. So the best plan is essentially no plan. You just need a rough outline of what you want your MVP to look like. Then you got to validate the idea to see if people will actually pay for it and then market it if the idea is validated. The mini details that you're too worried about come later. Next thing you gotta do is make sure you're defeating the mini bosses before you defeat the final boss. See, in any RPG game you have seen, the mini bosses always come first, then the final boss. Take it, Elden Ring, Sonic Adventures, whatever game you wanna play. If you try to go for the final boss from the jump, you're going to get destroyed faster than you can rage quit. I mean, that must suck. Imagine opening up a game, trying to beat up the final boss, you get beat up instantly, and now you're so demotivated that you don't want to play anymore. And in the worst case, you put the controller down and never touch that game ever again. This is the same when new business owners decide to build their first AI SaaS. Too many times, people who just start their AI agency or AI SaaS try to secure the biggest clients possible. I'm talking, they're trying to email doctors worth millions of dollars or influencers with millions of followers or Nike, Adidas, Tesla, Figma, these top multi-billion dollar companies. Or they try to reach out to smaller companies that are still worth multi-million or even multi-six figures. All of these companies and influencers are classified as high value clients. Do not go for them at the start. Okay, these are your final bosses. Instead, when first starting in the AI business field, whether you're creating AI apps, SaaS, agent, whatever, you have to go for the smaller clients. It could be your local doctor office, your barbershop that you go to, or any convenience store. Don't go for chains like 7-Eleven. I'm talking about standalone stores. These are the clients you can get early on that will rank up your business, get you to a higher level, build your online portfolio or as video games have it, your inventory, and then make it easier for you to get that bigger client or beat that final arena boss. And I know this entire journey might get a little hard, which is why you want to make sure you hack your brain with dopamine. Because let's be real, the main difference between video gaming and building AI systems is a dopamine rush we get when playing a video game that does not come when we build out AI assassins. So when you complete a mission or win a multiplayer match on, let's say, Call of Duty, you get this rush of dopamine. Like last month, I dropped a nuclear streak on Black Ops six and I was hollering. I was so, so happy. Yes, finally, god damn. Shit took 10,000 years. And that dopamine was just filling up my brain to the max. I felt like I was on cloud nine. Now, do I get that same feeling when building out AI systems? Yes and no. See, I do get a bit of dopamine once my AI system starts working and there are no errors. I'm like, yes, let's go, it works. But do you know when the real dopamine hits? When that $5,000 direct deposit hits my bank account, baby. A nuclear metal in Black Ops 6 is great, but when that $5,000 direct deposit hits, whew, there is nothing like it. And that's where I get a huge rush of dopamine that makes me wake up every single single morning excited to build or update my AI systems. Because I remember that $5,000 check and I'm like, I can't wait till I get that next one. And that's where your brain is officially hacked with AI dopamine. Now, before you get ahead of yourself, I want you to be really real. 
okay? You're not going to get a nuclear medal in Call of Duty every time you turn on the game, right? Yet you still play countless games to eventually get it. It's the same when you're building your AI business. You won't get that $5,000 client on day one, but you will for sure get that $5,000 client if you show up every day. And the moment that you get that very first $5,000 check, you will officially be addicted just like me. But remember, you got to show up every day. Now, here's a real example of everything I said put into practice. I have this mentee named Ron, who I taught how to build and sell AI systems. After two months, he built this agent that was able to reprice tickets in a matter of minutes. You might not be familiar with ticket repricing, so let me break it down. Pretend a ticket reselling company purchases 200 Taylor Swift concerts at $250 a ticket. Due to the demand, the market price is raised to $300 per ticket. So the company now has to manually update the price of each of their 200 tickets to $300 instead of $250. This can take an hour or so to do. Now, sometimes this company can get thousands of tickets. So in those instances, it would take multiple hours to do. So this company was spending money on workers to update these tickets for them. But now Ron, he built an AI agent that could replace all the tickets and update their prices in mere minutes, whether it be 200 or 1000 tickets. His agent was able to replace all the workers that the company had employed for ticket repricing. So they were able to save $36,000 a year. So they were more than happy to pay Ron $5,000 for his agent. And I can assure you after that check hit, Ron definitely spends more time building out AI agents than he does playing video games. Ron is just one example of a person that you could potentially reach out to to learn more about, right? Wait, 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 I hear you. You're saying, well, Ron didn't have to do it alone. He took mentorship from you. You're telling me to do this all by myself. No, I'm not at all. I mean, do you play video games by yourself? I mean, you might, and that might be a little bit lonely, but I imagine you hop on Fortnite and you're not running solo battle royale all day. You probably tell your friends, yo, let's go on Fortnite and you four band together and play battle royale until your mom yells at you. Or if you're a grown man, until your wife yells at you. You and your friends work together, go on these build battles so that you guys can all beat the other teams and get that number one victory. What if I told you that you can have that same multiplayer experience when it comes to building AI agents, apps, and businesses? In fact, one of my best AI agents that earns me $9,000 a month today, while I did start it solo at first, I now have one of my high school friends helping me update it on a regular basis. And it's so much fun. We have calls where we just look at our Stripe dashboard and like, yo, we're making so much money. Let's make this even better. Let's add this feature. Let's do this. And this will make us $2,000 more a month. And we're just scaling it like crazy. It's literally, it literally feels like we're playing video games together. I mean, my friends or my team, I guess is the official business term. We still hop on our laptops at the same time at night, bounce ideas off each other, work on new AI agents, start new businesses, work on new marketing plans. And it's so much fun. I'm talking hours pass by and we don't even notice because we're having as much fun building our AI businesses as we are playing Warzone together or Club FIFA. However, there is a problem. A lot of people don't have friends who are also in the building AI businesses field as them. And that's pretty unfortunate, but I understand. Luckily, there are communities that are free to join that are full of AI enthusiasts who are in the same boat as you and are looking to make some online friends, potential business partners, and make some money with AI altogether. I myself run a free community that you can join and meet other AI enthusiasts. And I'm not the only one. There's so many other communities that are free that you can join as well. So there's no excuse for you doing this all alone. And even better is that there's a huge benefit to the multiplayer experience that you have not realized. Mr. Beast has famously said, if you have five friends who are in the same field as you, and you are learning at a 5x rate because you can learn from the mistakes those five friends are making. That way you don't repeat them. So now imagine you are a part of a community with a thousand plus members. You are now learning at a thousand X rate. The chances of you failing are very slim. You'd essentially be leveling up faster than Sung Jinwoo. I know that's a anime reference, but anime video game, same thing, right? That's what your girlfriend probably tells you. But can this all really be fun? Can building business really be as fun as playing video games? See, the school system is to blame for making something work related or academic related, such as building AI systems seem so boring. When we went to school, we were bored by the curriculums, exams, and homeworks that our only escape was video gaming. It was our safe haven and where we could have fun no matter if we just failed an exam. And yes, I am talking based on prior experience. But building AI and learning how to build AI doesn't have to be your new school. It can easily be your new video gaming. Here's an example of an $8,000 AI system my student Vladan and I built together. To see an example of an $8,000 AI system that my student and I built together, check this video next.